Good day, everybody. This is Michael Oliveris with Yaakov Spector, an immigration attorney who is a participating attorney in Jurisq.com, a legal network where we answer your FAQs, frequently asked questions on law. Today, we're with us again, Yaakov. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. I, thank you. And Yaakov, we talked uh, with you last time about a very important and useful tool in the arsenal of immigration attorneys called VAWA, Violence Against Women Act, which gives protection to women who get abused in a relationship. They can still qualify to get green card, even if their husbands try to withhold it from them. Uh, and of course, a very interesting question came up. The name of the act is Violence Against Women Act. Does it also apply to men? If a man is an abusive relationship. So let's talk about that. Yaakov, give us the short answer and give us the long answer. Well, the short answer, and uh, this is for all the men who are listening right now, is that yes, it does apply to you. Okay, now if uh, if you think that, okay, that's, uh, that's it, and you could just disconnect from this video, I suggest that you listen on because um, uh, the, uh, unfortunately, this is one of the, uh, one, uh, one of the weak points. Uh, of, uh, uh, you know, when it comes to us men, you know, we don't don't read the instructions. We don't listen to the instructions. <laughs> right. We're not good at that. And uh, especially when it comes to this kind of relief, uh, when uh, you, let's say you're in an abusive relationship, you know, Violence Against Women Act might be the solution for you and you simply might not know about it. Okay. Um, uh, and so this is something that um, I want all men to realize that if, uh, yeah, your wife is abusive, and that happens more often than we think. Um, you know, if she, uh, you know, if she, uh, if she makes your life miserable, if she throws objects at you, if she sometimes pushes you against the wall, if she scratches you, that's abuse. Mm -hmm. Okay, it doesn't just mean that. Oh, yeah, you know what? You know, my 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 wife is a little hot tempered. You know, she might be, but you know what she's doing to you is abuse. Okay, so, and so you shouldn't be shy. Uh, you shouldn't think it's not a masculine thing to do to go to an attorney and explain this is what's happening to me. Yes, you uh, absolutely. Open up, and you, you really have to go to an attorney and think of an attorney as your doctor, as your immigration doctor. You have to tell the attorney everything, right, Yaku? Michael? That's absolutely right. Not only that, you could think of us as priests, and they'll tell you why. Anything that you tell us is not something that we can disclose. Okay, so we're right. not go tell your friends. Will not go tell your government. As a matter of fact, we are not supposed to. Okay, even if they come asking, you know, we would not be, we would not tell them, and that would be uh, proper under the law. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can definitely talk to us, but that you will run uh, what a lot of men that I consult about this issue. Uh, you know, they uh, what they tell me initially they say, oh no, yeah, everything is fine. No, yeah, we have our fights just like anybody else, and they don't even realize that that they're being abused. And then I tell them, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, take some time and think about these things. You know, have you right. ever, has she, has she ever scratched you? You know, has she ever pushed you? Has she ever thrown mm -hmm. objects at you? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, so this is something that you guys might want to think about if you're thinking back to your relationship. You know what, if that happened, it might qualify as abuse. And mm -hmm. of course, uh, you know, one thing about Violence Against Women Act is that it's applicable equally well to men. If you are married uh, to a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident and your wife is a U.S. citizen or a permanent resident, and you're in this kind of a relationship when, you know, uh, when you think that you might be a victim of domestic violence, you know, there might be physical abuse, there might be emotional abuse. Yeah, Jakob, that's a very important person uh, point because uh, people think about abuse being physical, where there's fights, like you said, scratches. Uh, what could constitute abuse if it's emotional or psychological? Can you give us uh, some examples? Well, so emotional abuse uh, when it comes to men is a little bit tricky, okay? Because uh, what uh, sometimes uh, sometimes I I get uh, I get these uh, men who call me and they say, hey, you know what? My wife doesn't love me. You know, I, I I'm devastated. Uh, that's that's abuse, right? It's not, unfortunately. Okay, look, that's you know, weak. Life, very weak. Yes, life may not be easy. Okay, or they say, hey, you know what? Uh, you know, we, we just fight all the time. Uh, hey, remember what I said about scratches, you know, about any sort of physical abuse that could qualify. But, right. uh, you know, just, just you know, being in a, 
in a, in a relationship that doesn't go very well, unfortunately, is not considered emotional abuse. For men, emotional abuse is very hard to define. Mm -hmm. It's definitely something that you want to talk to me about. If you see that there is a pattern of really nasty things that your wife might be doing to you, uh, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, emotional torture, like she brings men, uh, if, if she cheats on you, that's not necessarily abuse. But if she does that, in front of you with an wow. intent to cause you psychological distress hey maybe okay mm -hmm. so it's it's really tricky when it comes to just emotional abuse definitely something you want to talk to me about what about uh where the wife that has the citizenship is extorting her husband by saying if you don't do x y and z i'm not gonna go with you to the green card interview at immigration services. I'm gonna withhold the green card from you. Could that qualify for abuse, this kind of uh, extortion? You know, just by itself, um, uh, probably not. It does, it, 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 is, uh, it is abusive. It is one of the elements of the abuse. Mm -hmm. But don't forget that if your wife tells you, hey, you know what, um, I, I'm not going to go to the interview with you unless you pay me uh, a certain amount of money, Right. Um, or she is like uh, she she's blackmailing you uh, for, right. for any reason. Don't forget that. Hey, you know what? Uh, this is something that you could walk away from. Right. Uh, I mean, that you're going to stop. Right. Uh, you know, just because the relationship is not going well does not entitle mm -hmm. you to a green card. OK, mm -hmm. so if she's just saying, hey, you know what? I'm not going to go going to go to the interview with you. And, uh, you know, you say, OK, so don't go to the interview with me. You will not get your status. But if, uh, if uh, uh, you know, the relationship just breaks down, hey, that's life. But yeah. if she keeps extorting you, if she keeps, uh, uh, you know, uh, hitting you, you know, if mm -hmm. she keeps throwing scenes at restaurants, which happens right. more often than you would think. Yeah, that's know, embarrassing. And, uh, that's uh, embarrassing. You might, want, you might want to talk to me about it. There might be, uh, if that's, if, if, if her actions would constitute abuse, Okay. So basically, yeah, the, the, the devil do. is in the details. It's very important to talk to an attorney who does this for a living, that focuses on these types of cases, that has seen how immigration reacts to these uh, examples of abuse. So you know what to expect. Um, oh, absolutely. Final, yeah. Uh, Yakov, final question I have for you to clarify further, Violence Against Women Act. We know it applies not to women, it applies to men. Does it apply to same-sex couples? It does. And we uh, handled a number of cases when, um, uh, when uh, actually with quite a lot of physical abuse, when, uh, uh, when an abuse spouse had to go to the hospital, um, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when uh, it would be a same-sex marriage, you know. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is what happens when, uh, you know, when basically when the large guy is uh, being physically abusive. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. if on the other end of it is, is a man or a woman, uh, there's going to be some injuries. Right. So uh, of course, just as um, uh, you know, as any uh, same-sex couple can apply for a green card when everything is going well, mm -hmm. uh, and any, any same-sex couple, potentially if things are not going well and, uh, and uh, the, the situation turns abusive, uh, the, the, uh, the immigrant spouse could try and apply for the uh, green okay. card. Okay, very good. It's good to know that this act applies equally uh, to all men, women, to same-sex couples. And of course, uh, here, Yakov Spector gave you very general information. If you want specifics about your case, as we, as we said earlier, it is very important to open up to your attorney and tell him or her everything so that Yakov Spector can make a determination whether this act applies to you. And if not, maybe there are other mechanisms how you can get your green card. It's very important to uh, discuss it all. The phone number of Yakov Spector is on the bottom of the screen. Please call, ya call Yakov for your uh, consultation and you'll get the right information. Uh, follow us for more sessions on immigration law, on other types of law, jurisdue.com, our Facebook, our YouTube, Instagram, and you're gonna keep informed. You're going to keep being informed on the latest developments of the law. Yakov, thank you. Everybody, thank you so much for your attention, for your time. Have a great day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.